back to Activity Quest, the podcast that's packed with stuff to do. In this week's episode, we're getting our walking boots on and heading up Kinder Scout in the Peak District. And we're going to be making our own dinosaur fossils and digging them up, just like paleontologists. And as always, there are events from across the country. My name's Bex, and every episode of Activity Quest starts with a fun kit presenter doing something awesome. Today we're hiking up Kinder Scout and learning about the interesting geography and history of the hike. And hands up if you love dinosaurs, because we're going to be making our own fossils out of salt dough and then become paleontologists and uncover them. Right now, Meg is walking up Kinder Scout in Derbyshire. Meg, did you know there used to be dinosaurs in Derbyshire? No, I didn't. That is so cool. Do you know what type of dinosaur would have been roaming around Derbyshire? So in 2020, experts at the University of Southampton found four bones they think are from a dinosaur related to the T-Rex. This sounds terrifying. However, it was very small. It was like the size of a bird. I think I would still jump if I saw it on my walk, even if it is supposed to be tiny. I feel like I'd be scared of any dinosaur, anything that looked weird on my walk. Yeah, me too. This small dinosaur had been preserved in amber, meaning its bones were able to be discovered for 99 million years. That's a long time ago, so I wouldn't worry about discovering them today. Uh, Any of them? That's a long time ago, so I wouldn't worry about discovering them today, but maybe look out for any fossils. Yes, I will do. On this week's activity quest, I am hiking up Kinder Scout and I'm heading there in style right now. I'm on the train to the town of Edale um, where the start of my walk is. Okay, I've started my walk. I am quite out of breath. Um, I've just seen a lovely little waterfall. Um, I've washed my feet in the waterfall, which mm, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. It has to be done, doesn't it? Um, I, my feet are freezing now, but it was worth it. Um, lovely, lovely water. And there are so many beautiful rock formations. If you love nature, you will really, really love this Kinder Scout walk. Kinder Scout is a moorland plateau and a national nature reserve in the peak district in England and a plateau is a little bit different to a mountain because it is flat at the top so when I get to the top which I'm going to be honest I am a long way off the top at the moment I'm only half an hour into my walk but it'll be flat at the top which is what makes it a plateau the plateau is 636 meters tall which means it's the highest point in the peak district in the east midlands If the weather is better, then when I get to the top, I should be able to see where I'm from in Manchester. Um, And you should be able to see Bolton as well as Snowdonia in North Wales. Unfortunately, typical England, I have come on a cloudy day, so I don't know how much I am going to see. So I'm hiking up here. It is a little bit strenuous. I've had to take a breather. I've just seen a little girl. She's only two and she has made it up to the top of Kinder Scout. Um, she's called Darcy. Um, she didn't want to be on the on the podcast speaking, but she's very proud of her achievements and she says we can give her a shout out. So well done, Darcy, who made it to the top of Kinder Scout with only a little bit of help from her mum carrying her. Now, my favourite thing about Kinder Scout is that it looks like something I've never seen anywhere else in my life. There are giant rocks on top of the mountain, like giant rocks, like taller than three grown men put together and they've been worn away by the wind and water. So they're really smooth and they have all these like crevices you can see through and they've been here for millions of years. A glacier, which is like a frozen lake or a frozen river, would have come down through the Derbyshire Dales and dumped these massive rocks at the top of this mountain. And I love that there is this one that looks like a giant rubber duck. So if you come see if you can spot the one that looks like a giant rubber duck. And this one over here is massive and you can walk through and shelter from the rain and pretend you are in a palace. It's such a reward getting to the top and seeing these amazing, amazing stones. I imagine like dinosaurs walking among here and treating them like their palace. You really feel like this like little ant because everything is so big and you are so small. The reason that I wanted to come up Kinder Scouts on today's activity quest is because it has a really interesting history. 
On the 24th of April 1932, so that's 90 years ago, hundreds of men and women defied the law to walk over the hills of Moreland to the plateau of Kinder Scouts, which is where I am right now. The protest was led by a 20-year-old called Benny Rothman, who was the secretary of the Lancashire British Workers' Sports Federation. And they organised walks for people from Manchester to get out of the mill towns where they'd be working really hard and have some fresh air on their days off. Now, not everybody liked that people were walking around their land and so they were stopping people walking in the countryside. So to protest this, Rothman and hundreds of others broke the law and walked up Kinder Scouts. And the rest is history. It took a few years, but basically they protested and got us something called the right to roam, which is why we can walk around the countryside and it's free and it's for everyone to do. So places like Kinder Scout, which became part of the Peak District National Park, the first national park in the UK, all thanks to the people that protested and gave us that right to roam 90 years ago. So whenever you go on a walk through the countryside, you kind of have those people to thank. And it's such a brilliant thing that we can just wander around our beautiful British countryside. It's a great free day out and I'm on the climb down now. So I'm a little bit less out of breath because I'm going downhill. Although I've already done 15,000 steps. So that I think that's pretty good going. I think I deserve some chocolate when I get to the bottom of this hill. And I've just come down an area called Jacob's Ladder and crossed this bridge that looks straight out of Lord of the Rings. And there's loads of nature. I mean, you guys know how much I love my nature on Activity Quest. So I've done bird watching, listening to birds, and we've done nature surveys. This will be a great place to do a nature survey if you want to listen to an old Activity Quest and get some inspiration. And... I've just got to the bottom. It's taken me five and a half hours to do the whole thing. But if you want a smaller walk, you can do. You can just walk to the waterfalls and that's a couple of hours walking. Or there are loads of beautiful walks around our national parks in the UK, wherever you are. Um, I love the Lake District for walks and I love the Peak District because I'm in the north. But there are loads all over the country. Now, I think it's time for me to reward myself for my 20,000 steps that I've done with a hot drink. What do you reckon, Bex? Think your muscles are going to ache in the morning, Meg. Yes, I think that's how you know it's been a good walk, isn't it? I've been very lucky today too, as I've avoided the rain. I think it's it started raining a little bit, but I was able to hide under those rocks at the top of Kinder Scout. So now it's starting to spit a bit more. So I'm going to find a cafe and I'm going to hide from the rain. Yeah, I'll have a hot chocolate, please. All right, I've got a dinosaur update for you on the way about the discovery of a new dinosaur. In fact, we've gone dinosaur crazy in today's activity quest because Connor will be making his very own dino fossils. First, though, let's find out what's happening across the UK. Thanks, Bex. Yes, it's time for some events from across the UK. First up is Cockfields Farm in Oldham. It's an awesome place to see llamas, meerkats and chickens. Get a chance to hold the farm's baby chicks that have hatched this spring, as well as owls and hedgehogs. There's also a play village, pedal tractors, a giant jumping pillow and a den building area, making it the perfect day out for the whole family. And if you love creepy crawlies and reptiles, make sure you head to the Reptile Show for your chance to learn more about reptiles and even hold some. Cockfields.co.uk to find out more. Have a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious time at the stage musical of Mary Poppins. Adapted from the Disney film, the stage version of the show at the Prince Edward Theatre in London features classic songs such as supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and a spoonful of sugar. Find tickets at marypoppinsonstage.co.uk and explore the wonder of animals all over Earth and how they adapt to their different habitats at the Life Centre in Newcastle. Discover how kangaroos keep cool in the desert and polar bears warm in the Arctic in their new show. Plus, take a planetarium journey into ice worlds, make a bug hotel and check out a seven metre wide replica of Earth. Find out more at life.org.uk. And the new BBC Match of the Day magazine is jam-packed with awesome football news, features and quizzes. This issue of the UK's best-selling footy mag is the end of the season awards special, meaning all the kings and queens of the season are crowned inside. Don't miss all of that, as well as everything you need to know about Erling Haaland's reported summer move to Man City, an epic giant double-sided poster and so much more. 
Become a part of the BBC Match of the Day magazine squad and grab this absolutely stacked issue. It's out now. Who's excited for the dinosaur news I promised you? Okay, here we go. A new dinosaur has been identified in Argentina. It's over 70 million years old, and the dinosaur is likely to have been 10 metres long. It's called Mape Macrothorax. Can you believe we're still discovering dinosaurs from millions of years ago? That's amazing, isn't it? And now Connor has got a great way to pretend we're paleontologists discovering dinosaurs right now, using some salt dough to make fossils. So today we're going to be making our own dinosaur fossils. Now fossils are the remains or traces of plants and animals that lived long ago, way before our time. Fossils give scientists clues about the past, such as what plants and animals existed. Fossils are how we know dinosaurs roamed the earth millions and millions of years ago. After an animal like a dinosaur dies, the soft part of its body decomposes, leaving the hard parts like skeleton behind. This becomes buried by small particles of rock, and they're called sediments. As more layers of sediment build up on top, the sediment around the skeleton begins to compact and turn to rock. So in the middle of the skeleton remains as a fossil, and it might reappear if the rock gets broken. So kind of like in the middle of the rock. So we're going to be making our own fossils from salt dough and plastic dinosaur toys. Because why not? We're going to be using the oven for this. So make sure you have a responsible adult with you to give you some help. Right, so firstly you need to grab yourself a bowl, mix two cups of flour, one cup of salt and half a cup of warm water together to make the salt dough. This is going to form the rock of our fossil. So now you need to make a small ball of dough. Then press it flat with the palm of your hand so it makes like a disc shape. Now you need to take a dinosaur skeleton toy and press it into the dough so that when you lift up the toy, you have left the mark of a skeleton press, a dinosaur skeleton toy, into the dough. You can also try this with feet of a dinosaur toy too to make dino footprint fossils. Yeah, I've just thought of that name. Be as imaginative as you would like. I've made some of my fossils with the imprint of leaves I found outside and shells from the beach too, so you can really be as creative as you want. Once you've created all your fossils, it's time to bake them. Get an adult to put the fossils in the oven on a baking sheet at around 250 degrees for an hour and a half or until they are hard like real fossils. So once they are out of the oven and cooled, you can become a paleontologist by burying the fossils in a sand pit or box of sand, then try and find them using a paintbrush in true paleontologist style. And if you love dinosaurs too, why not check out our Age of the Dinosaurs podcast, plus loads of other information about dinosaurs too, by searching funkidslive.com forward slash learn forward slash age of the dinosaur. All right, thanks, Connor. I've just popped my salt dough fossils into bake. Remember, there's loads of episodes of Activity Quest that you can go back and listen to anytime. If you're after some more suggestions, just scroll back in your podcast app and pick an episode you fancy. Whatever you do and however you do it, tell us at funkidslive.com slash activity quest. And remember to rate, review and follow this podcast wherever it is you're listening to it. I'm Bex and this has been a podcast from the UK's children's radio station, Fun Kids. Listen to me on your DAB digital radio, online, on the free Fun Kids mobile app and on your smart speaker. Just say, play Fun Kids every weekday from 4pm. See ya!